Hey guys, what is up? Goldglove here, and today I wanted to make a little commentary because, well, I haven't in a while. Uh, but uh, you probably <clears throat> can tell that I am sick. Um, I've been sick for probably like over a month now. I'm not sure if it's something with this house. I don't know. All I know is that since I've moved into this house in California, I've just been really stuffed up. I've had a cough, and I just, I like, I feel fine. I don't feel sick. I just kind of, I'm stuffed up, and I have a cough. So it's unfortunate. Um, but you know, what can you do about it? Hopefully it clears up soon. I'm not sure if it's maybe an allergy or what it is. I really have no clue what it is. Like for a while there, I had like, maybe it's a mold, like a mold scare. Cause apparently, you know, when we moved into this house, we had to sign a bunch of waivers for mold inspection. And this house has been, you know, if in the, I don't know. Anyway, um, hopefully that's not the case cause mold is very dangerous. And if that is, I could be a lot sicker than I think I am. I should probably go to the doctor. But I don't really feel that shitty. I just I kind of have a cough. So hopefully it goes away. But anyway, um, I want to make a video because I'm going to be leaving for two weeks starting tomorrow um, because I have to go somewhere. And uh, I'm actually, well, hopefully hopefully none of my none of my family members uh, actually watch this video because if they do, it'll kind of spoil it. But I, uh, I'm going home tomorrow for two weeks. And uh, if one of my family members does watch this video, don't spoil it for the rest of the family, please. Because uh, I'm going home um, on Friday, so that's tomorrow. Today's Thursday. I'm going to be going home for two weeks. I'm going to be, you know, spending time with my family and my friends before they go, they go back to school, you know, and do all that stuff. And uh, it's kind of the last time I get to see everybody before the holidays, which is, you know, a good couple months away. So I wanted to be able to do that. And uh, I just kind of wanted to surprise my family and, you know, do something special for them and, and uh, just see them. I'm just so excited to see them. I haven't seen them in a while. This is the longest I've ever been away from home. So, uh, yeah, I got to kind of work my way in there a little bit to see my family and, and make that happen. So, um, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to do any Daisy live streams. I'm probably not going to be able to uh, uh, upload that many videos. I have stockpiled a few videos, but not as many as I should have. Um, so, I unfortunately, I'm not going to be that active here in the next two weeks on my YouTube channels. Hopefully, I'll be able to still balance some videos in there as much as possible. I really don't want to go home and have to play video games for two weeks, you know, to uh, to make to make videos and content. Um, maybe I'll take my PVR and stuff so I can record if I need to. Um, I'm not really sure. We will see. We'll see what I need to do. Um, but other than that, I, I just kind of want to, you know, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on. Um, I am addicted to DayZ. And for those of you who are like, that game sucks. All you do is run around. Yes, but, but... It's, it's kind of like the uh, it's the adult version of Minecraft in a sense, and it's only in the alpha stage. It's a very glitchy and buggy game, but it's the most satisfying game because someone said it best on Reddit. Someone said the reason DayZ is so awesome is because you can never beat it. There's no winning. There is no winning, and when you, when you die, you, you've lost everything you've ever achieved in the game, and you start fresh. So it's high risk, high reward. It's so satisfying to be successful in that game and to achieve a lot right um <clears throat> excuse me and i'm probably talking over like years of war gameplay or call of duty gameplay so it's kind of weird but daisy i feel like is going to be the next big game you know when minecraft came out it was very small people were like what the hell even when i saw minecraft for the first time i thought this game is so fucking stupid why would i ever play this this looks so silly i'm never going to play this and then two weeks later i found myself addicted to minecraft for a while and I probably played the game for about two or three months, and then I did kind of get bored of it. I just now started watching Juicer play Minecraft again, and holy shit, did they add a lot. That game is insane now. But anyway, that's kind of besides the point. Um, DayZ. So DayZ is a lot like Minecraft originally was when it first started out. It's just kind of a, it's an idea at this point. It's an idea that you can play, but it's not fully created. And apparently, uh, they're working on creating a full st standalone DayZ type game called War Z. Um, it is from a d different developer. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually support that because they've kind of taken this idea uh, from Daisy in the first place. Or uh, apparently they didn't take the idea. They started development first, but Daisy has kind of been there. Daisy is creating this fan base, and I don't want I don't want to see other developers and, and, and another game actually take that fan base away from Daisy because I don't think that's appropriate. Um, but anyway, Daisy apparently is working on its own standalone game, which is really awesome. I can't wait to see that. And uh, I'm just excited to uh, see what they actually do with that game in the future. Just because, e I mean, even right now, when it's in an alpha stage with so many bugs and glitches, and when it's really, um, it, there's, it's really not that complicated. It's complicated, but there, uh, there could be a lot more to it. 
And um, so I'm just excited to kind of see where they take it, what they do with it. It's another really cool thing about it is uh, the developer um, Rocket. They actually um, they actually are really connected to the community. You know, they're always posting on Reddit. They have these set of forums where you guys can go and you guys can give actual suggestions for the game itself. Like they just leave uh, threads open that say, "We are making a standalone game. What do you guys want to see it?" or see in it what do you guys want for us to do to make the game more enjoyable for you guys and they actually listen they like um, they even started talking about maybe starting up a um uh what is it called i can't think of the name right now but basically uh where you you start a campaign and then people um you know offer money uh what is it a startup or something like that i can't really what kickstart. kickstart thanks that's tucker in the background on my video but anyway um, it's called Kickstart. So Kickstart basically is like where they can set up a campaign and then people can uh, donate money to uh, help, uh, you know, someone, you know, invent something or create something. And uh, so they talked about possibly doing that, which for me, I would donate in a heartbeat just because I'm such a huge supporter of DayZ already. Uh, but they actually said something about uh, not even doing it because they don't want people to think that they're just in it for the money. They actually just want to create a game and just have, you know, people love it. So they said that, you know, a Kickstarter campaign, they know what they would they would just make shit tons of money and uh, they don't want to do that. So they already have investors. They have a whole bunch of this other stuff. So they may just not even bother with a Kickstarter campaign just so people realize that they're really in it to make a fucking awesome game for the people, for the community. And, uh, you know, when I hear something like that, that makes me want to support a game even more. But uh, all I've been doing lately has been playing DayZ. I, I stayed up for like 30, I think it was like 33 straight hours um, two days ago. And I played probably out of those 33 hours, I think I played DayZ probably 27 of them. So I, I was just, I am so addicted to the game. I don't know how two weeks without DayZ is going to go. Hopefully I'm okay. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm just messing with you guys. But um, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss playing with it. But if you guys have never given DayZ a chance... Um, to get DayZ, all you have to do is buy Arma 2 uh, Combined Operations, and then DayZ itself is actually a free mod uh, for Arma 2. So uh, if you guys want to find out how to do that, the link is going to be down below in the description. And uh, I've already actually, I gave away two copies of uh, Arma 2 Combined Operations already, and I think I'm going to give away another one. So to win that, I don't do giveaways often. You don't have to like the video. You don't have to favorite the video. All you got to do is just leave a comment saying, hey, I would really like comb Combined Operation, and uh, then I'm going to... You Obviously, you have to have a good PC that can play it. You have to have a Steam account, and um, you know, hopefully I give it to a person who can actually run the game. So all you got to do is leave a comment in this video and say, hey, I would love to play DayZ, and uh, you will be in a list that I will pick a person and I will give you, I'll gift you on Steam, Combined Operations, uh, uh, Airhead 2 or Arma 2, sorry. And uh, you'll be able to play DayZ. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That has been what I've been up to. Remember, um, I'm going to be gone for two weeks, so my channel might be a little bit slower than usual. But I'm still going to try to make content as best as I can. And uh, thank you guys for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>